What's up, family status? I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today, we're going to show you how to make a flower bed from start to finish, how to attract pollinators to your garden, and how to add curb appeal to your home. But first, we got to go to the store and get some supplies. So, we're going to get some topsoil for our flowers. The topsoil is only 168. Probably get like two bags of this. And we also gonna get some pine bark mini nuggets. So we plant the flowers right here. Or should we plant them over there? First thing we're gonna do before we start planting our pansies is add some topsoil and some compost. And we're gonna use our broad fork to loosen this spot up. Moving all the rocks. Make sure the soil is nice and loose. It's a huge rock. So this is the design we're going to plant our flowers in. So we got purple, yellow, purple, yellow. And just to give you some ideas, if you make a flower bed like this, you could plant some elephant ears on the end. You can also plant some roses on the end. Zane! Are you ready to plant some flowers, Zane? Look at how root bound these pansies are. So what we're going to do is So root bound they don't even want to come out. This is crazy. These flowers are super root bound. Look at this. Super root bound. So what we're gonna do is loosen these roots up. This one not that root bound. Loosen it up. Perfect. You gotta cover it up with dirt. Another super root bound pansy. There's fruits growing at the bottom. Okay, so we finished with the first row. So when we get done setting all the flowers where we want them to be, because these blooms are already about to die, we're gonna take these off. And what's gonna happen is the pansy is gonna make more blooms. And that's called deadheading your flowers. But we're not gonna do that until we got all our flowers set in place. Because we want it to be purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. All of these are super root bound. They can't wait to go in a new pot or go somewhere they can actually spread their roots. Perfect. Perfect. So now that we got our flowers all set, 
All we have to do now is add some pine bark mini nuggets. Then we're going to take all the flowers off, like I told you, to make more blooms. Because these blooms are about to die. And then we're going to water. Now we're going to go through and take all the flower blooms off. We're going to go all the way down to where it starts. Just take it off. Just like that. All the way down to the bottom. Take it off. And these pansies are going to attract a lot of pollinators. More pollinators equals more harvest. This process is called deadheading your flowers. You can also do this with roses. So remember when your flowers are about to die, go outside take them off and they'll come back stronger and bigger so guys now that we took all the flowers off our pansies now all we have to do is water <laughs> 